Hi, Lars Christensen here, part of Autodesk's technical marketing team. Let's do a quick inventor tip, talking about how you can make your part look better on the screen. So, well, let's jump in and take a look at it. So I've modeled this part up, and I'm pretty happy with this throttle uh, arm that I modeled up here. It looks pretty good. Uh, and maybe you get asked to present this to a customer, or maybe your boss want to use an image in a PowerPoint. Or maybe you're just new to Inventor and want to bring one of your coworkers over to your desk and brag a little. So how do we make things pop quickly on the, uh, on the screen here? Now, we can start out with the background. Right now, we have this gray on gray. So I'm going to go over to Tools, and I'm going to go into Application Options. Now, if you're new to Inventor, inside of here, there's a lot of options, a lot of tabs. And I definitely recommend that you at some point, you know, take a look in here, play around with some of the different options because they can really save you time. But for right now, we're just going to go up to the Colors tab. And you will see in here that we have this gradient background where it's kind of like the color going from one shade to the other. And inside the color scheme, we really have a lot of uh, different options. Right now we're on this winter night, and if you can kind of like toggle through, you will see the different colors in there. I, I really like the presentation background. And if I go down and just hit apply and close this out, I think you will already see that, you know, it kind of like changes the way the part looks just by changing the background. Now we can also go up to the view tab, and in here we have some, some great options to, to change how things look. The first one we maybe want to look at is the visual style. So when you model inside of Inventor, many people like to use shaded with edges. Um, it really helps you model things up. You will see the radiuses uh, pop out on the part. But since I want to make things look a little bit better, um, I'm going to choose the realistic option in here. And you will see on the part immediately that it kind of like changes, makes the part look a little bit more real. Now we can also go into the shadow option in here and there's some different options um, in here I could for example turn on something like the ground shadows and I'm, as soon as I do that you will see on the screen we get the shadows there and that looks really cool now that makes me think about one thing though I haven't really thought about how I want to orient this part and I have this two light environment uh, turned on I'm gonna go back to environments a little bit but what you will see happen when I rotate the part around is well my shadows is gone, and that's because now I actually have the bottom up. You can easily change that inside of Inventor. If I go normal to the bottom up here in the Q tab, I can actually right click and I can go in and I can just flip it around. So now I have the top. And as soon as I do that, hey, there's our shadows, right? So that's a little trick how you can move things around so you get the right shadows. We can also go in and turn on the object shadows. That means that like the, around the holes, you'll now get the right shadows. And then we have this cool ambient shadow, which is really a photorealistic re uh, shadow um, that will kind of like make the counterboards looks good. We can also turn on things like reflection in the floor. So now it almost looks like it's sitting on like a glass table or something like that. Now, another thing I want to point out is the view uh, here. So you can go into orthographic view, which is what we normally model in. It's almost like if you just had it on paper, very straight lines. But if we're switching it over to perspective, we get that real look on our part, right? Now, I talked before about the environments with the two lights. So what this means is that our part is actually living inside of this environment. And right now it's like two lights hanging down from the ceiling. But if I switch over to something like, well, Stuttgart Courtyard, right? It's nothing like good old Germany. And if I zoom out a little, you will see that my part is actually sitting inside of, well, this uh, courtyard environment. And, um, you know, if I zoom back in, you will see that on the part is almost reflecting uh, on, it's reflecting that environment on our part itself. It gives me almost a feeling of Oktoberfest or something. Um, and that is really can really look good on your part. Now, of course, maybe I don't, I've already selected my background. I don't want that environment to, uh, to show in the background. You can actually go into the settings tab. And if you toggle this display scene image, then, hey, then you're back to your good old background. But the reflection of that uh, environment of the courtyard is still in our part. 
Now, of course, as you can see, there's a lot of options in here and you can play around with this, um, you know, uh, you will see that things updates right away when I play with the brightness and things like that. So you can definitely adjust that if you want to. But already now, I think that the part looks pretty good, right? I mean, it's really starting to, to pop out a little bit and look better. Now, I wanted also to show you how you can adjust the actual physical part. And I like to go through uh, your feature tree. So if I right click and I go into the eye properties, um, we can change the physical appearance, but the reason I wanted to do this is if you're new to Inventor, you should be aware of these eye properties. This is almost like a, a sticker for your part where you can put things in like who designed the part, uh, description, you can put cost, uh, the date the part was created, all these different things. And we can actually propagate this to the title block on our drawing. So this wanted you to know that. But in here, we also have this physical tab that I can select and I can go in and select the material. And I by the fact know that this is uh, going to be done out of 6061 aluminum. So now I have actually changed the appearance of the part to the aluminum. So that's pretty good, right? We have the part right there. It looks pretty sharp. Now I want to show you another trick though, because you can actually go in and do other adjustments. If we go up here on the top, uh, we can actually change the appearance of the part and still keep it in the meta properties as aluminum. So if I scroll through in here, you'll see there's all kinds of cool things. Uh, maybe I go in and say chrome polished and you will see that we get kind of like this cool chrome polished look on our part. Now, the Stuart Courtyard environment is still playing when I'm spinning the part around. Now you can of course be, be creative in here. Maybe I go in and try something like a cool white maybe. Um, maybe that makes the part looks a little gray. You could go crazy. Let's do denim, <laughs> right? Um, maybe that's not showing the part off, but at least maybe that makes things look kind of fun, right? A gravel is, is kind of neat too. Um, but you have some neat options in there. And you're just really changing that appearance uh, of the part. Now, I like the honed uh, look here. I think that that really makes the part look pretty sharp, right? So just a couple of quick tips on how you can actually change the, the environment your part is sitting in and make things look pretty good, right? So right here, I'm ready to call over, you know, one of my coworkers and say, hey, look what I just modeled up. Uh, or again, if you needed to use it for an image for PowerPoint, you can actually go up and you can export it out as a format like a, a JPEG or, or a PNG or something like that. So I hope that uh, you found this uh, little video helpful in how you can kind of like make your parts look, well, I don't know if you can say engineering and sexy in the same sentence, but it definitely can present the part, you know, a little bit better than just the standard uh, gray on gray. Have an awesome day and until the next uh, tip, take care.